Hi there! We're going to be doing a review on the Samsung SmartThings Hub. Now this is a second generation SmartThings Hub and you can tell the difference from the first generation as the shape is more square. It also has two USB ports in the back along with four AA batteries as a battery backup in case you lose power. I chose the Samsung SmartThings Hub over other hubs mainly for its R&D support. It will be around for a long time and have more updates to bug fixes and new features. They even plan to incorporate a SmartThings Hub into all of their Samsung TVs starting this year. So they will be around for a long time. Also, SmartThings allows developers to access their API. Now, API allows you to create applications that you can integrate directly with your home devices. For instance, we use the developer API to set up your Nest thermostat as it isn't officially supported yet. Now, the hub is fast as devices are processed locally and they are not done over the cloud, which will take extra time. The SmartThings hub, you can actually connect smart sensors like locks, cameras, lights, and more to monitor your home from anywhere to control your home from the palm of your hand and to protect your home from damage and danger. Additionally, you can add any of the hundreds of compatible smart devices to enhance your home. All right, so I'm casting using Google Chromecast and this is from my phone straight to the TV. You can actually look down below. There is a video showing how we were able to set up that. Now for our next project, we are going to ensure that our home is armed when we are away. It's saying everything is okay as well, which is fantastic. So we are gonna go into the top right corner and we are going to check into the security. Now this is to keep out intruders. This is actually setting off a sensor that will impact if an intrusion happens and it will alert us accordingly. So to configure that, we wanna make sure that yes, that is in fact clicked on you see what happens when it's not, you're not going to be able to use every open closed motion sensor, but we do want to use every open closed motion sensor. And we're going to go to next. Now from there, we will click on next again. And we can actually set text and push notifications, which is essential in dealing with intrusions. So if outside of the US, you can actually enter the proper country code, but for now, I'm planning to stay there. So we can say done there. We can also get audio notifications. And this is, we haven't added it yet, but it is something that you can add. We also have alert with sirens, and we want to ensure how many minutes. I think five is a good number, so we're done for that. We can also alert with lights which is a good way to shed some light on the subject. No intruder wants to have the lights on, right? So we can actually select the lights that we want to do. So I am going to have the bedroom light here. I also want to add the chandelier, the foyer camera, and the foyer light, as well as the kitchen light to be added as well. So once I've done that, I click on done, and the light level is 100%. So I'm going to click on done and that is what we do. Now, if you want to capture video from these cameras, you can actually select the cameras that you would like to do that. Um, selecting the cameras, I want to choose the foyer camera and then I'm going to select done and clip length one minute. That's good. So I click on done and I am done. And that is how you set it alarm. So successfully added security. And there we are, successfully added. And we are disarmed. No, we are armed and away. That's what you want. Okay, so uh, we are now gonna show a demonstration of what happens when an intruder does, in fact, break in. Now I'm going to go into the armed away mode and we are going to see case in point what would happen if an intrusion would occur. Now, as you can see, everything is okay at this moment. Intrusion detected. Okay, and so we can actually view the alert right here. And so it's saying motion sensor intrusion detected and foyer camera began recording. So I am going to dismiss. 
Are you sure you want to dismiss this incident? In this instance, yes, I do, because it is a false alarm. So I'm going to click on yes, this was a false alarm, and yes. And there it is. Now we're okay again. But it's that easy. You're alerted right from the palm of your hand. All right, so now I'm going to show you other aspects of this fabulous app. So we can go into the My Home, and this is actually the things that you have registered with your device. So you can actually turn them on and off. The heater, it's turning off, but we actually want it on because it's kind of cold today, despite how I'm wetting. I know, I have the right to bear arms, what can I say? <laughs> And we also have the front door locked and we can unlock it just like that. But again, I'm going to lock it. All right, so we want to lock that and it's even telling us how much battery. All right, so I can also go to the rooms. You can hear it from here. Okay, so from the rooms, we can actually access the outside. Let's go to the foyer. Now you can see the foyer light is on. I can turn it off and you can see that difference right there. And again, the camera is active and we can actually, you know, reboot it right from here, but I think we're good. Additionally, we can go into the family. Now these are the three devices that actually tell you when you're coming and when you're going. So the Nest presence, I mean, it tells me that I arrived at 319 on this day and the arrival sensor, you know, so and right to your cell phone. So again, everything you need right in your hands. How easy is that? This is technology, literally, at your fingertips. Now we're going to add a switch and pair it to the hub. Come check it out. So once we're in Dashboard, you go to My Home, and then you're going to scroll all the way up and you add a thing. You add the device manually, you scroll all the way up, and you go to Switches and Dimmers. Then you go all the way up, and you're going to add the Leviton switch. And so once you're there, the Leviton switch allows you to control ceiling light fixtures and exterior lights from the wall switch inside your home or from your smartphone. You're gonna connect now. So now that we're in my home, I'm gonna see where the Leviton, oh, look at that, there it is. So we're gonna turn it on. And once you're there, you can hear it turning on right now. And we are going to rename it. So it says, give your device a name. So I am going to call it something very clever. That's right, Hall Light. Now well, that's a great name. And now we're done. And then if you go back, you will see that it is now called the Hall Light. All right, now we're going to add the Hall Light to the living room. And how it's done is like so. Come on over. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to go to rooms and we're going to go to living room. Then you go to the gear button. You're going to add devices to room. The hall light is right there. So you're going to click on that, you're going to add, and then you're done. And there it is. So you can turn it on and off right from your living room. Okay, so now I'm going to show you automation. Now this is a fun part where you can actually set your routines. But guess what? We've already done a video on that and you can click down below for how to do it. Next, we have our smart apps. So this is where you can actually configure the smart apps right to this device. Smart apps. This is a great option for home automation. This is what I have set up. If I click on Amazon Echo, I can see what the Echo can control. To add more devices to the Echo, you say, Alexa, discover, and she'll do the rest. This feature, along with the routine, is what separates this hub from the rest. To have things automated, and to have Alexa and Google Home control your devices by talking to it, is what simplifies your life. Now we're going to go to the Marketplace. Now the Marketplace is a great place to check out what is supported by the Smart Hub. I'm going to click on light bulbs here. And as you can see, we have a variety of light bulbs that are supported by the Smart Hub. 
I love this hub. It has so much to offer. Now Samsung has a lot of dough to throw at this bad boy to help it grow. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to seeing what is to come in the expansion of the hub. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe and like or dislike and give us comments. We value your feedback. Thank you for watching.